hi there welcome back I'm coach Tanya with critical bench and in this video I'm going to be talking a little bit about the six most common symptoms associated with menopause when we talk about menopause there is there's there's a, a wide range of, of symptoms really that anyone any woman going to menopause may experience now it's very important to keep in mind that when talking about menopause, each woman's experience is very unique. So while there is a common arena of symptoms, the degree that they are um, experienced, the intensity, severity, frequency, is very unique from woman to woman, as well as the duration, how long it lasts. Because menopause isn't something that like happens over a course of a few months. It can last for several years. Um, the good news in that though is that as you progress and as you transition through this phase of your life, the symptoms that you're experiencing with menopause will frequently lessen. That edge comes off them a bit. They, come, they, they may become a little less frequent, they may become a little less intense or severe. So that's good news in it. And you know what, there's really, there's a lot of other good news, but getting back on track here, what I'm going to write down and just brief, very briefly go over are the six most common symptoms. Now, this is not an inclusive or exclusive list, but it is the, it, they are the six symptoms that always show up. I mean, they, when you talk about menopause, these six are always there. When you're looking at research studies, they're always there. And what, um, what they are, are the following. Obviously changes, <laughs> changes in your menstrual cycle. And that, I mean, that goes without saying because menopause is when your menstruation stops. So 12 months consecutively, not ever have, not having a period, you are now in menopause. But leading up to that point in time, you're going to start to notice changes, maybe missed, maybe more frequent, heavier, lighter, but you're going to notice changes. And it's probably a really good idea to write some of these down because you're going to want to start tracking what's happening with your body. It's going to help you get sort of better prepared and um, not, as, not just prepared as far as what's coming with your menopause, but what are some changes or things that you want to do to support a better experience than if you just sort of sat back and let menopause happen to you. So changes in your men menstrual cycle for sure. Weight gain, a lot of women complain about unwanted and unexplainable, unexplainable weight gain. Like I went to bed, Last night, I woke up and I had like this spare tire, and that's what it's often referred to, spare tire, this donut, love handles, and really stubborn, really stubborn weight. And this is very much, you know, there's hormonal influence here, um, but it also is a heads up that you're gonna have to, you're gonna change the game a little bit here for yourself, okay? So you can fight it, you can get angry about it, or you can start taking some steps to maybe do something about it, to improve it, to get back to a healthier weight, and what you need to do to maintain that. Um, most of you are going to be very familiar with this as far as having heard it. It's hot flashes. And hot flashes is just what it says. A hot flash. A sudden and unexpected, unprompted raise in your body temperature. Quite and it can be very intense to the point that your face starts to flush. You start to sweat quite profusely. It can be rather awkward, embarrassing for women, especially like if you know, you're out in public because these, these things can just come out of nowhere, just blindside you, all right? So um, again, there are things that you can do that can support, you know, maybe taking the edge off a little bit or at least things that you can do when they happen to help make yourself more comfortable in that moment. Now this next one kind of goes hand in hand with hot flashes because it's the same thing. It just happens at night and that's night sweats. So night sweats are essentially these at night to the point that they can be so extreme that they wake you up and all of your bedding, pillow, everything can be soaked. And I have worked with clients that have said that they have been, their, their night sweats at times were so severe that it wakes them up out of a dead sleep because they're freezing, they've sweat so much that they're just drenched, soaked, and they either go to a different room, sleep in a different bed, move to the couch, or have to change the sheets before getting back into bed because things are that soaked. So, um, yeah, unpleasant, unpleasant, but there are things you can do to make it less unpleasant for yourself. Um, next. Depression, mood swings. Now, if you yourself are in menopause or you know someone who's in menopause, uh, it can feel like, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a, a mental emotional component here. A lot of times, you know, when we're talking about the physical symptoms and effects of menopause, we have to keep in mind that there's, there's a mental component. So 
when hormones are fluctuating and they're varied and they're kind of all over, you know, they're all over the map because hormones are not decreasing gradually in a specific amount every single day, week or month. It's complete. It's a completely dynamic process, which is why a lot of times you can feel massive extremes, one extreme to the other in the symptoms that, that you're experiencing. And one of these can be like mood swings. You can find yourself absolutely belly laughing, rolling on the floor, having a great time. And 10 minutes later, you're in a puddle on the floor crying and you're not even sure why. All right. What I do want to say about this though, is I do want to caution anyone who's experiencing depression or a very low mental state that you're unable to come out of if you're having harmful thoughts or if you know someone and this is a concern for you, please seek professional help immediately. All right. What I'm talking, you know, in these videos, I'm not making light of anything, but I'm talking about those hormonally influenced depression, mood swings because of menopause that women can be up and down and you know, all over the map and there's help you can get for that. And there's things you can do again to help support better frame of mind or, or happier moments. But there is a point when, you know, specific, professional help is needed and I do not want to discount that and I don't want to go any further in the video without mentioning that. So please, if this applies to you or someone you know and love, please seek help. All right. Lastly is a drop in libido. Now, a couple things I want to say about this is that you've got, again, with all of these, you've got physical and you've got mental, emotional, and they're definitely intertwined and impacting one another. Now, when it comes to libido, physically what a woman you know as she gets older as estrogen levels and progesterone levels drop you know vaginal dryness is very common that is going to make intercourse very painful and uncomfortable so you've got that going on as well as with these fluctuating hormone levels her ability you know a woman's ability to get aroused as easily as before her triggers they're just not firing the same it's it's a little harder it takes a little more time um, it's not an impossible situation, but it can be very awkward. It can be very frustrating. It can be very, you know, it can really set this off. All right. Um, now there are definitely, there's things you can do. There's products you can buy to make intercourse much more comfortable for you. However, that doesn't really address the emotional component because when you think about it, ladies, and if you're, if you happen to be a gentleman watching this, cause you're trying to understand what's happening with your wife. When you think about it, if all of a sudden intercourse is becoming painful, can you blame her for not really getting in the mood all that easily? And on the other hand, if she's, you know, if it's more uncomfortable for her, but maybe she, she wants that intimacy. Can you imagine the emotional mental weight of that? So you've got this whole mix going on and ladies, again, there's products you can buy. There are things you can do to help with this definitely from the physical side of it. But when it comes to the mental and emotional side of it, the number one thing I'm going to recommend that you can do that is have the, going to have the greatest impact here is having a discussion with your spouse. Let him know what's going on. You know, men like to fix problems and they don't need to fix you. It's not like they can fix this, but they at least like to know what's going on. Cause you can, can you imagine being your spouse sitting there, not knowing what on earth is going on, not knowing what on earth, if it's you, what did you do? What can you do? What should you do? They, if you, you know, as, as confused and frustrated as you may be, just take a step back and consider what that might be like for him. And I think, and I, I really, I really do believe that if you actually take some time to sit down with your spouse and say, look, no secret here. I'm going through menopause or I'm premenopausal. Or here's what's going, here's what's going on. It it's painful. Number one, it's painful. So we need to do something about that. And number two, I just, I need a little more time. It's a little harder for me to get into, into that mood. So have that conversation because trust me, he wants you to enjoy things just as much as you do it. And he doesn't want this to hurt you or to be something that's got you mentally so weighed down that you never enjoy it. Okay. You, you know, um, you need to bring that intimacy back, but you need to have a very honest conversation and, and figure some of this stuff out together and talk because trust me, he's going to be willing to support that, um, and make that as enjoyable an experience for you again, as, it always has been. All right. Again, not an all inclusive list, but 
the six top ones that are they're just always there. They're always you Google menopause, these always show up. So they're all, they always arrive to the party. So I just wanted to address those quickly in this video. You can read a little bit more about them in the in the description below and definitely if you have any questions about this please comment below so i can answer those for you um, that's really what i have for you today thank you so much for watching i'm coach tyne here at the critical bench and please keep your eye out for more of these menopause videos because um, i've got a lot more to say about the topic thanks for watching talk to you soon